The hype train yeah. on Chris Godwin is in full force. Yeah. Uh, Come on! Chris Come Godwin. On! Bucks coach Bruce Arians says he can be close to a 100-catch guy. There was some talk of Chris Godwin moving inside. Playing from the slot, they lost Adam Humphreys. Justin Watson could be outside. Chris Godwin could come inside. Um, I understand the excitement for Chris Chris Godwin. He's a well-rounded receiver. He's a red zone threat. He's a a big guy. Um, He had a great season last year. Bruce Arians likes to air it out. Um, You know, my only concern with Chris Godwin this year and a potential breakout is, you know, it's the objects in mirror are closer than they appear. It's the, the the same narrative and the same refrain for the Bucks offense that we've had for multiple years. The same stories were coming out about Deshaun Jackson when he arrived there originally. We may not remember them, but we should. Because right. when he arrived, perfect match, perfect fit. Everything's lined up. He should dominate. Doesn't always happen. I actually think the better fit. I mean, Jameis... Jameis does not have a very accurate deep ball, but the middle of the field, that's why, you know, he's always been so good with tight ends. The middle of the field is where Jameis thrives. Chris Godwin, to me, is very Anquan Bolden-esque. He's just a really solid, well-rounded, tough, you box him out, wide receiver. He's he's great. Yeah, I I think Chris Godwin's great. He's 23 years old. Bruce Arians coming over helps as well. So, yeah, I get it. The hype might be out of control. Uh, he Mike might is, no is gone. Well, the hype is going crazy. He is in orbit. Well, but here's my point, Mike. Uh, on the might, the, it might be out of control because I know that there's so much that maybe it's too far. But I I believe it might just be real. You know, there's so much smoke because there's a fire here. I believe it. I mean, I traded, uh, I I overpaid to get Chris Godwin. So obviously, I I am a believer in Chris Godwin's talent and. Bruce Arians coming in, but you know, TV. Well, the, the yeah, I mean the po- the points against him is he's not the number one receiver on the team. That's the hard and point. And James for him. Winston is it, a point for him and a point against him. Right. It, the hype train it was it was also fueled by the comment of Chris Godwin could be Larry Fitz could play the Larry Fitzgerald role, which was then referring to him going to the slot. And then you look back, how was how did Larry do with Bruce Arians? Fantastic. He was a hundred and thousand yard receiver. The problem was on those Cardinals teams, there was no Mike Evans. Right, he was the number he one. He was the number one, and he was the only one who was a competent wide receiver at the time. So I think Chris Godwin is gonna be great. I also am concerned about his average draft position being fifth fourth round because by the time real drafts catch around every it's it's not just us talking about Chris Godwin everybody loves Chris Godwin already right well I mean look when he was 22 second year in the league he finishes the wide receiver 29 with Adam Humphreys there with Deshaun Jackson there now he he's going to see an uptick in targets he was a big winner from free agency so uh, you know I I, you know these are reasons I believe but we'll have the debate on Godwin as the as the offseason continues Oh, hey, wasn't expecting you. Thanks for watching the video. You should check out the long form, the hour. Check it out. Subscribe to the Fantasy Footballers channel.